to use alcohol prior to a torch. We're going to try to get away with this one right here. And we'll see if we use a torch at all, but we may not have to at all. This will be a very low stress way. And just think right now, you, your epoxy is sitting in the same exact condition it would be as if you had left it for probably two, two and a half hours. And this would be about how workable. You wouldn't have to do that. You'd have a lot of time to work and do a big job or something if you wanted to. Oh, are we live? Whew. Okay, don't say anything. I love China, by the way. That was such a fun trip. TikTok, please put my live back on status. Wait, who's the president over there? Kim Jong Un? <laughs> Z? I love you guys. You guys just keep banning my TikTok, though, so. I bet all the single moms in China cry when my, my channel gets pulled. Just, just kidding, China. I love you guys. It's going to come back, though, thanks to our behind the scenes worker. Yes, sir. We're going to try to do this with all just alcohol. And remember, make plenty of passes to get it as smooth as you possibly can. Just clear alcohol, right? Um, no, no, no. This is, I want you guys to do the colors. Be, be creative. I'm sorry I did not specify that. I want you to do still, you, soap stone will still have gold. And remember, if you, gold and green, a lot, uh, heavy, heavy on the translucent green, so shake it well because there's tons of like copper deposits in soapstone. That's kind of why people like it is because of the green on it. So don't be afraid of putting too much of that down. Just remember, don't torch it once you get all that, once you get all the alcohol down, do not torch. But don't, you can't go too heavy with this because this is getting sanded. To be a proper soapstone, we really do have to sand it. No, it's very random. It has lots of fissures and fractures, so it's really frustrating to work with. I remember I had a big slab of it that had been like glued and bonded together, and I just pulled it and tried to slide it across my, I had a big concrete poured slab that was perfectly flat to build and cut on, and I pulled it, and it just separated along a whole fracture, and we had to glue it all back together, epoxy it back. And so it's a really difficult to work with material, so I've never just had epoxy fall apart. So don't be afraid to have some heavy, heavy green, because we are sanding this, and we want to sand into to where we still see exposed green. And be random with it, very random. You can't go too heavy. Remember, you're sanding this, so with the metallic colors, make it a natural pattern, but don't worry if you go what you think is too heavy. It'll probably just be perfect. And if you go too heavy with something or it actually was ruined for some reason, which I can't see that happening, you have charcoal spray to fix it with because that's right back to your base color. The what? The chaps. Who's the chaps? Oh, son of a, the chaps. Oh, geez. They cover my face. <laughs> These are funny. These last little chaps cover your face. Promises I can't, promises I can't stand up for. I guess for a million followers, I'd probably do that. I wouldn't give a damn. Nothing that my marine friends didn't see. I still have, I have some friends out there that are always threatening to hold me ransom for pictures they have of me. I'm like, I don't know why you have pictures like that of me, bro. I didn't take pictures of you when you were doing stuff. Nick Van. That guy. Is there one other color we should do in here for a fun deviation of it? Or? Oh, that's looking so good. Red? Let me, I'll, I'll look for it. I'll look for red capper. That's a beautiful idea on there.
There was one. I'll pass this around. This is one of my favorites. Red copper looks really good in here, so. Oh no, it's working well. I'm spraying it into where it is wet, so it will mix, but I'm spraying it heavy, so I'll have a little bit of a fade to the outside. So it'll be a darker, deeper red in the center, and it'll fade out into that more gold look. But if I was to spray this like this, where there was no alcohol, wet alcohol with a different color down, you'd just see the red sitting there. But see how you're getting that really nice blend? Because I sprayed it into wet alcohol already. So and you could keep working your areas. We could come back up here with a concentrated gold up the side if you really wanted there to be some contrast or something. So. That, like, I really want you guys to start getting comfortable just using sprays because sometimes I have fun with the veins and for a soapstone we do have to have some fractures but we have to be pretty thoughtful with our fractures or we'll mess it up. So, But get used to doing stuff that makes people happy without any artistic talent needed. Just a little bit of spraying and everybody's having fun. Tell me your customer wouldn't watch this right here and be like, holy shit, that's a lot of fun and they'd love what this looked like. I've done this in front of thousands of people. And you can't spray something when you in person when you see this uh, high quality epoxy that's three dimensional and poured thick enough getting these colors sprayed into it. I mean, it's just always, I don't ever mind a customer watching. So my bathtub is in desperate need of being replaced or repaired. You know what? We have the best tub, and it is literally about eight times thicker than the thickest tub and sink coating on the market. So. And see, I kind of got a bad spot there because I kind of did it incorrectly there, but I'm not worried about it. I'll just mix right back into it. Can't really have any failures if you have fun and learn how to do this process here. Lots of happy accidents. It's like I say, I, I've always said, I know I'm a happy accident. Craig, is this old Greg? Oh, Craig. You're a badass, Craig. Thanks for being on our channel, man. I hope you're having a good day, Craig. Thanks for joining. What do you think about what you see? You're welcome to talk shit, too, if you need to. I'm trying to layer back and forth between the gold and the red just a little. A little more red than what's in most soapstone, but we don't care. Off to the next of you. Be a little gin more gingerly with it than I probably was. I was having way too much fun, as you can see. I do that a lot. Craig, you are you're freaking lightning, bro. God bless you, man. Hope you're having a badass day, dude. Thank, thank you seriously for being here. Every single one of y'all on the live, it's a big deal to a small company like this. So when you guys like our channel and you share it and just follow us, all those little things with Everything we have to do, it's literally the only way we survive, so thank you. Let me know why, how I can give you more value than what I do. Oh, this is looking good. Remember, if you want to blur it all out or something, you can always go, if you're wanting it to be somewhat covered and muted, you could use charcoal. If you wanted it to be all those colors but not mute it, clear alcohol and you'll get the similar effects. So. Josh, good to see you. If anybody wants a gangster ass flag made, Josh Bowling. Oh, dude, anybody go to Josh Bowling's page and check out his page. He has some of the coolest flags um, and definitely give him a follow. Josh, I went to your page the other day because Josh has made me some really cool flags. Made the Sheriff's Department one for a fallen deputy um, here local and then made me a big American flag and just amazing. So really good craftsmanship. But I saw one on there that said, in hose we trust. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> Josh is such a sweet person if you know him in person. And he's so polite. He just has some badass customers from all, he's done rappers and all, he's done everybody famous in the world calls Josh Bowling to do their big, really cool, like custom flags. I think he's done vanilla ice and a couple of jelly rolls wife flag. So he's done a lot of really cool things. So. So if you get offended on there, just realize he's, a, he's such a professional that he gets those awesome things like that. Dude, I'll do a countertop that says in hose we trust. So <laughs> even though I don't, so. 
in bros we trust. All right, now if you pour hot, I'm gonna try running a large vein across this and it most likely is not going to even stick because of all the wet alcohol. But it, I'm gonna get some of it to lay down probably. Watch, now just watch that. See what that did? Now, we'll wait on the next one. Did you see how, how that just slammed its way all the way across the piece? Now, as soon as this alcohol dries, there's nothing to actually like help as a lube or whatever underneath there. So all of a sudden, it's going to stick, and you're going to get more bubbles, and it's going to give you a complete opposite look. But it won't be nice and skinny and, and spider web like that. So I think you'll get more, more like exacting lines as soon as you actually come back um, and let the, let the epoxy, the, all the alcohol, dry back off the top. So I have about a gallon down here. Hopefully we get a really good lake effect on this. I love that dried effect. It's pretty, I love the colors. Love that. See, you can't even go wrong with that. Isn't that, that already? I think, how many people would love that? Already looks like a rusted out piece. More wieners. He just makes wiener samples, all the patterns on his pieces. No, it looks really good, I'm just teasing. Man, you guys are artists. These are both really beautiful. That is, even, you're making progress. You're making progress. If he ever has a seizure, though, make sure you hold his tongue out of his mouth. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm not sure. Warren, that looks good, dude. I actually think one thing that I guarantee Warren is like me, and I have a hard time imagining a whole, a whole layout, a whole sample on something this big. And it gets easier the bigger the piece you work with, because as weird as this may look to a lot of us on this small of a piece, it won't look that weird once it's on a, a three foot wide island or something like that. That's one nice part of the pattern. So. And you have it, you can see where it differentiates there too. And remember, you could go back in with any more any colors. You have plenty of time for this. So, got some actual artists in here. Hey, man, how can I help you, sir? Wait, I don't I don't know if we have pickups. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I don't, where we I don't see at? Jessica here. It'd be back here. I'm sorry about that, man. Yeah, yeah. Are you, do you park out back? No, I'm off in front. Oh, I got you. Um, that's not it. That's it. Those are all shipments in. Okay. I, apo I really apologize. Just Tomorrow do it. Tomorrow's you. fine. And I thank you so much for your time, sir. Hey, that's your Sorry to interrupt. Don't worry at all. No, you didn't. Don't worry at all. Come back anytime. You look like so much like our normal guy, anyways. They cloned him. Do you see that? No. They cloned our UPS, dude. Yeah. Probably the same UPS guy that we do, because oh. that looks like a... you, you know the You know the person, then? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a live. I don't know what <laughs> Oh, right, right. He's a cool guy. He's super comfortable in our office. Like, oh, is he's he? He's got our little kitchen downstairs. Oh, right on. I invite people in to do that. Some people, we have some people. We had a sweet old mail lady, and she would never bring the mail, and she'd get mad, and she actually gave us a lot of problems and never did her job. And I thought I could like have a battle with her forever on this, and keep trying to get her to do like bring stuff up to the door. But then I went out and talked to her, and she was so old. I felt so bad she was even working. And then I, I, I didn't know. I didn't ever. I'd never really seen her that much. And I was like, holy crap! I was like, why don't you come inside and take a break and get a drink? And she didn't do it that often. But she was so grateful, like everything changed. And I was like, man, you could get so much further like that. Just, and who knows? I mean, when you're that old and you're still working, like it's not for the fun of it. So I'm sure she was providing for somebody else. Or, and I don't know, I see people like that. I hate seeing them work at that age. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm loving the lake effect. Is look at how it's evaporating in there. starting to look pretty dang good here. Now, I will say um, that if you want this to look like a good soapstone, it needs to have very sharp angles. You cannot have, soapstone is usually some large fractures with, a, it always fractures on like 30s or 45s. It's a really like crumbly stone and almost like clay. It's like super hard clay almost. So, so be thoughtful of your veining that it's very sharp right angles, some very small stuff.
<laughs> Dropping bombs. Withdrawals. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Withdrawals. Dropping bombs is so kind. I think he's probably making fun of me half the time. I love that he's on here, though. Probably one of the best people we got. We have so many. It's our, like, our common following is like the best I've ever seen on a page with Jeanette and all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Laura, Jeanette, Josh. Josh, you got to meet him in person, too. I'd, that's why I hope I can meet a lot more of these people in person. Jeanette says she missed that by you texting so much. Oh, seriously? How far does Jeanette live by Dallas? Close enough? Well, Jeanette, you better stop by Texas if you can. I'd love to. Dropping bombs says, I never make fun of the <laughs> Dude, you're awesome. Thank you, Dropping Bombs, for being here. 45 minutes, she said. Oh, that's beautiful. Did we post the exact location? I'm sure we did, right? Yeah. Yeah. I went a little overboard with my veins, but I like it. So I was having fun, so it didn't matter. And I still have a lot of alcohol to evaporate. And you'll see it'll really move. A lot of the lines where the alcohol is still evaporating are going to get um, very hidden, and they'll move around as the alcohol moves. What the heck? Jeanette's birthday? We, we got to do something for her then. That's pretty badass. We'll figure out something for you, Jeanette. Jeanette could have a free spot in class if she wanted everything she's done. Is that a, I can't tell if I have a void there or not. It looks like a Levi spot there, doesn't it? It looks like a, I think I probably touched it or usually if something's wrong, I did it. I know how to fix that though. Put plenty of resin in it. And now I'm, even though mine's still wet, I'm going to speckle some clear into it just to try to get this. If I can get it to break a little bit, I want it to. The sanding on this one will really make it what it's supposed to be. That's going to look good, man. Let that, uh, do you have alcohol? Do you still have on there? Or is that, that's dry, right? Yeah, that's a dry piece. Man, here's your, just your clear alcohol. If you torch this lightly, you're going to get the best pattern. This will be an awesome piece here. Yeah, now speckle that a little bit. Heck yeah. Big, bigger and sl slower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big ones down there. Remember, really try to get larger drops and really spend your time figuring out how to get bigger, bigger drops and less of them. It's getting good, dude. That's really, really nice. I'd, after that evaporates, I'd torch it one more time, and that'll actually look better after you torch it, too. So you have quite a bit of alcohol in that corner. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I might let that evaporate some more. I've made mistakes. You guys are being a pretty good class. I saw one little fire, and I appreciate you guys being careful. Oh, you know what? 
Let's Tinkers donate to any of our charitable causes that we list, and we'll ship this to you. Um, just pay for shipping, and it should be pretty cheap to ship one of these. So anything in our classroom that you want to buy, you just have to donate something to one of the charities and pay for shipping. So. I like how it makes a red in there. What's that? Shay Live Art, thank you for being here again. <laughs> I so apologize for coughing in everybody's ear at home. August 20. Well, we'll have to think of something for August 20. That's looking good. I'm being impatient because I want to torch it right now, but I'm loving what's happening to the color in here anyway, so I don't want to rush it. It's looking too good to rush it along. It, you notice the colors are pretty, pretty extreme, but we're sanding into this, so some of that will get honed down and subdued, and you'll get more of a natural, like this will be shades of red a little more. You'll see it's, it's going to be a, a, a unique, non-reflective version of this, but usually it's way more beautiful, and it feels amazing. You can, you can really polish it smoother than a glossy top. Thank you guys so much for being here. Oh torching going on. He's really, this is going to look good now that he torches it. That's looking good, man. That's so nice. Yes, sir? Yeah, uh-huh. Torch it right out. That'll look perfect. You had like epilepsy there. That yeah, you time. know, I was sort of coming up the bottom. I was like, right? I can't stop now. I'm sorry. No, good job, Javon. Devon. That looks good, man. But I like yours is more subdued than mine. I think that actually looks better. That's a clean look. Oh, about done, huh? About the almost done. You have so much alcohol down, it might do well, what I, you I want. Just, I just it's good. It that might do one. exactly what you want it to do. That's already really nice. That's pretty cool. That looks natural. I do believe the trick to classy tops and things that look good is having enough there to look good, but not enough to be too far. Like, I, I remember I'd find fool's gold in granite and stuff and marble that I'd install sometimes, and then people would be like, I want more of that. You wouldn't want it if it was all gold and stuff, the whole piece. It, they were all so excited about the pieces. And those were pieces, everybody would fight over those pieces of marble. So I try to think less is more. Um, I bought marble out of um, Salt Lake City, and then I just worked out of, I had a piece of property where I had a shop in my house, behind my house in Fruta, so that's, I had a bridge saw and a polishing equipment, and that's kind of, that's one, it was fun to get into, but I can say, like, I never could afford, like, to compete with somebody like Robert Stone, and he actually offered me to run his shop a few times, but I was like, man, that was right at the time where I was like, I kind of like doing my own business, I kind of enjoy this side of things, and he was so much better out, have you ever been in his shop? So go in, if you want to be impressed by our granite shop, I know I sell epoxy, but there's a granite shop in our town, and he does shit that's, it's, he does amazing stuff. And he's such like a, he's like a savant. He actually was a tile setter too. He got the, um, he was a union tile setter, and, and um, he bid on the Phoenix airport and got it for himself. And he was like, oh shit. Like, so he went from satin tile for whatever to making millions of dollars. He didn't know it, and he's like, my dream is to own a granite shop. So I always thought that was a cool story. But you'd meet him, and he'd go in his office, and he was like hoarders buried alive, like kind of thing. So you'd be like, "There's nothing could great could come out of here." And he was like the best artist, just amazing. He'd he'd draw all his own designs and cut mitered granite. Do I saw stuff that had so many angles, I didn't even the math he could do just to get that done was unbelievable. So, I mean, he had to be a, like a mathematician to do what he did. So, it, I, it's kind of funny. I'm a, proud of a few of my old granite jobs, and my top two. I hired him to come in and actually set the stone because it was so far beyond my capability. I could do slab granite. I couldn't do anything more than 3CM granite. If it was more than like a 3CM slab, I wasn't going to buy the material to do it or the tooling.
Now these torches are just weed burners. I know they look really aggressive, but it's really just a wider flame. And you hear that hissing because it lets air in up at the head. So it's not really as, it's not such a frightening tool like some people think. It's not doing that much more work than your little torch. And it is nice to have a long stick so you can reach across something or. Who wants it? Shea Live Art, you should get this. These cost about $35 at Home Depot. Lowe's, Menards, they almost all share them, sell them, but they're not down in the garden. Usually they're down with the actual torches or nearby them. So. I don't, I kind of ruined mine, I think. I don't like, I don't like mine that much. We'll see, I'm gonna add some. More veining, just some fresh fur veins. Okay, love you, corn stock. Get it together, man. I lost some of my veins so much down in the those heavy alcohol areas that you can barely even see them. Don't panic, your stuff looks better than you think it does. You really burned it, it could, and the white would yellow, of course, but you don't want to catch fire. Don't, don't be like me and do it till it burns. Yeah, I can warm it up a little. I do like with powdered, any color that I pour with powdered only, like these, I do like to um, let it set in between um, torching a little bit um, because it gives time for those little tiny air bubbles to float to the top. If you just keep torching until they're all out, you're going to overheat your piece. But if you give it a little break, it's warm, it's viscous, um, everything flows, then you slow it, but you know, as soon as it's slowing down, you hit it one more time and you pop all those little surface bubbles and it'll be a way smoother piece if you're just patient with it. for a little bit of clear. Yeah, there we are. Okay, that did it. That's what I was looking for. I just wanted that really detailed, sharp, contrasting white on the darker background because we are cutting this, but I still think we needed to do that a little bit. I don't know if I should spray a little gold on top. Is this easier to do than you guys thought it would be? What's that? No? What do you do for work again? We, we're gonna, we're gonna do some clinical diagnosis on you, so. I'm joking. I'm not a psychologist. I think psychologists, don't they usually do that so that they get free psychology? Don't be hard on yourself. That does look like shit, but you'll get better. I'm, just, I'm, I'm kidding, Warren. That, Warren, that doesn't look bad at all. This is your first day, so don't freak out at all. Yeah, start start looking left a little bit. If you look left, that everything is perfect except you have a few like large sperm samples in the middle. So.
You know what? We'll, we'll work on it together. We'll get rid of them, dude. Don't worry at all. Let me see. Look what we got there. And here. And here. Oh, it's not all as fresh as it appears to be. You guys stop being critical of your own work. You're a really good artist, so I know you're picky with yourself, so. You hear how it's just nice to an artist. You guys should write notes. I didn't say any bad words. I didn't say no mockery. I wasn't actually making fun of her like I usually am with, with artists. Remember, don't be afraid to go back to your base color, guys. Get some of those dripped off base colors and work them. Look how good. This, this dude's a freaking artist, man. Look at it. His milkshake brings all the girls to the yard. At least his epoxy does. Should I tell you guys my story of how I heard that song just because I brought it up? I don't have any good stories, but my in Iraq, I, used to, I was a Marine, and there was some phones that were kind of... Sometimes they'd be off limits because it wasn't the safest area to be. Um, until the things got a little more secure later, but um, it wasn't really where you wanted to be for a while and um, due to some stuff that happened there. And I'm, I was really skeptical. A lot of locals that would try to kill you were down there and they tried to kill you a lot. So, um, so one time I was there at the phones and I see this note scribbled on the wall and it says, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And I mean, we're all boys and we're all at the yard on phones. So I was like, huh. And I mean, you're like trying to catch on to how they're trying to kill you. There's roadside bombs and animals. There's, and it's really unique the ways you could die. And then all I was thinking is like, maybe this is the yard. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe what's the milkshake? So there was obviously not everybody was like stupid like me. Some people listened to music and knew there was new songs that had come out since I'd been over there. I was over there for a little while. And um, so I go back to the unit and I'm like, hey, there was some stuff down here I wanted to talk to some of the guys about. <laughs> yeah, this milkshake was a song. You wonder how we lost that war. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't Intel or anything smart. Dude, see, be an artist. Have fun with this. Look at that. Look at that. You've been doing all this work, and now it's looking better than anybody's in class. Look at that. You can't go wrong with this. You think you could do exactly this? I know you could. What do you do for a living? Manage what? Way more, I guess to do math and all kinds of stuff. There's no way he doesn't do smarter shit than this every day. Now we'll speckle our clear, just. Yep. Break up that pattern a little bit. That's a little much, but. Isn't it? Look at that. You actually, I think I like your piece more than anybody else's. That's damn good, dude. I impressed myself. No, I'm just joking. No, you really did. You, you already did good. It just need, you got scared to keep going and you just keep playing with it. I'm not in all aspects of life, but in here, keep playing with it. That, that is one of the best ones I've seen you do. If you torch that and then speckle that, it's, you're going to get a very broken pattern on that that'll look pretty good. And I'll help you if you want, or you just, all right. You're pretty damn good, though, so I don't want to get in your business. No, no, no such thing as good job. Than the, the expert. Oh, I'm just the guy that's not afraid to make dumb mistakes. So if you practice your big speckles. Oh, no, I'll go out of my way. We'll keep doing this. And you know what? We'll repeat this again, so. I believe in like repetitiveness and not being afraid of mistakes, so 
Now, if you grab the heavy clear, or the, just the clear, sorry, and let's really try to spray or drop the largest droplets ever. Now, let me show you one other method, because I see some of you guys are kind of struggling with the, the clear droplets, and, and you're getting it, but not probably as large as I think might look right. So sometimes, just do this, guys. When you say large droplets, I had no idea you yeah. that large. <laughs> now you do. Look how you've already been doing yeah, pretty good, pretty there. Yeah, now now I'll just let that alcohol evaporate and then when we torch it, it'll even pull the colors back again. So it'll be really randomly pulled around. So you can kind of see it shimmering down in there. And mm -hmm. you guys have been a good class at not fires. We have sometimes we'll have like six fires by now. <laughs> scare really? scare the crap out of me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like and they're like totally not worried about it. It's not their building. They might get an early lunch break. They don't know. Just like when, when Trump got shot, you saw nobody run. <laughs> yeah. Did you see some of them? They just did this. They're like well, they're trying to get that on TikTok or something. Yeah. yeah. Millennials. I want some like trust place. me, when I got shot at, I didn't pull my phone out and. Eight shots <laughs> Almost like set up. Except, did you see the Secret Service lady ducked? Like, she was supposed to jump in front of the president. She's behind all the other Secret Service agents hiding. Like, I hope that president stops the bullet for me. If my job was to be on him, I would have been going off stage with him as fast as I could run. And if he didn't want to go, he would be moving at whatever speed I could run with him in my arms. These are, as a substrate right here, I really like this because this is a PVC. These um, samples, a lot of people like to use these. These are just our ceiling tiles, but you have to buy non-porous PVC. And really look at it, because a lot of people um, um, advertise um, non-porous PVC, or non, but they'll, you know, there'll be a little bit of a description difference, and it'll say it's made out of like compacted cardboard. Make sure it's act, not just a lick of PVC sticker, that it's a thin, and, and there's different thicknesses. You just want the thinnest because they're not for deadening sound. It's just for if you're trying to get a, a nice, smooth, new panel. And they come by 24 by, um, yeah, 48. Yeah, so they come two by four. So you can cut them down quite a bit. That's a full-size one up there, but very cheap. Yes, ma'am. What's the difference between this and Citra? Is Citra. I'm not, what's Citra? Citra is an extruded um, PVC panel. comes in 16, 8, quarter, half. Thicknesses. I'd have to look I it up. I mean, Citra. I've seen PVC paneling. I just don't, different brands. I haven't seen oh, yeah, Citra. Probably the same thing. Yeah. It's close at least. Do this on, on which one, sir? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I, I, I prefer always using MDF. That is my favorite substrate's MDF. You like MDF? Yeah, you can, it's tight. Um, you get really good patterns. You can work, you can route it, you can sand it. Um, you can seal it very easily. It's just a very forgiving material to work with. Oh, you're okay. There's no sag on, on, on uh, green. See, uh, mine might almost look a little. You know, you can trowel our wall epoxy to green board. Just remember, you should just trowel it onto green board. So the wall epoxy is pretty commonly, you don't, you still want to tape your joints and get it pretty smooth. Um, as far as pouring, I usually cut a full panel out of MDF. Um, and I use half or quarter because I like a thinner panel if I'm pouring panels and setting them. And I always like squeegee epoxy on the backside just so it's totally like a waterproof. So that's right. Put the, 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 the epoxy. Red guard no, 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 the just epoxy. Yeah, there. He, thank you, Larry. Larry had a very good question. Red guard to seal the back of a panel, and and I understand for tile that would be a thing, but red guard doesn't penetrate very well. It's made more of an anti fracture. It's what red guard initially what people would use it for is if your tile floor breaks in the middle and there's a fracture, your tile's stuck to the red guard, but the red guard would actually purposefully break loose and and come unbonded. So I really don't like using that as a sealant when, when a very small mix. It's kind of crazy. You can build a bunch of shower panels, um, mix yourself up 400 milliliters of epoxy, uh, and only for sealing, because you're squeegeeing it on and cross-rolling doing it, I'd mix about 10% acetone in there, and it thins it out pretty well, and I mean a tiny little bit. I've, I've mixed way too much most of my times where I'm like, dang, I'm squeegeeing half of it back off into my cup. So mix a very small volume and see how far you get. But then 
it'll actually really saturate that panel. Um, you'll actually see your panel kind of expand a little bit, and which is really nice because you know it's totally impregnated with epoxy and completely sealed. So, so yeah, that's a, thank you for asking that, Larry. I hadn't ever, that was not ahead of the class at all. That was just needing to be said about now. What'd you do in the military, Larry? Larry, sir, how many years you serve? Uh, eight. It's eight years in the military, and now he has um, back to east. What, what's the name of your chiropractic? Wellness Management Medical and Chiropractic. Wellness Management Medical and Chiropractic. Medical and Chiropractic Group in Louisiana. Well, thank you for still serving and taking care of people. Now, if you want, we can go right back to your... This to be a little more of a contrasting white vein through there. That is hot. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thanks for all you people service out there that just serve humans, whether it's in the military or not, too. That's something I'm I love the idea of. I don't know that I want my kids to serve in the military but I'd support it, but I want them no matter what to serve their fellow man my, uh, in some way. My son, my youngest son just graduated from law school. Oh, really? So I'm trying to get him to go in, in the reserve. Rip, that would be a smart one, yeah, no kidding. In the JAG Corps. Okay. I had a JAG officer follow me around Iraq one time a little bit, talk to me, stressed me out, and I left him somewhere. I said, have fun here. <laughs> <laughs> I know one guy that you ain't going to be talking to. <laughs> he couldn't believe that, but I was the QRF team lead, so I was like, guess who makes that decision? Yeah. There's a helicopter here, and it has one less seat. And then I had like nine people that were waiting for a ride, and I told the guys, like, can you take these guys? And he's like, yeah. And I said, get on. And all these privates and stuff were getting on, getting to get out of the desert, and that attorney was standing out there in this fob by the Syrian border just like, I did not know you could do that to me. I was like, well, if you didn't come over to an active military unit to try to bust some guys that were trying to get, like, I think, what were they doing, housing or something? And these guys were given three days before deployment to try to move out of places and stuff. I mean, and they're like, I'll just stay in it. So then he's like, I'll take your life if I find out you took $800 in BAH or whatever. Like, come on, man. A young, and some of them were, like, married or just different situations. I was like, man, this is a wrong time and place for this while we're all stressed for our lives out here. So... <laughs> I didn't. That wasn't the most helpful person he ever found. I bet I helped him with his fitness goals. So, I, and that was not the best, Larry. I don't think I did any different or better than you. I'm proof often no, you that added. You added. added. Yeah. The biggest thing is you just never have to stop playing with it. So, all right. Well, we are. We are a little earlier than normal, not too or much earlier, but we actually got more done today. A lot of classes can't get through two samples in this much time, maybe two, two and a half, like we're starting something, but we're rushing it. So you guys were very organized, and I love that you guys were artistic, so thank you. Um, tomorrow, will everybody, let's make a plan together here what we want to do, and I'll be very accommodating. I will say, I think we should meet somewhere up by the um, entrance to the the somewhere up by the east entrance to the monument. And the parking lot there is full. So you have a truck with some spots, um, and you have three spots in the back. I'll have a truck with three spots in the back. Um, I'll probably have four seats. Yes, sir? What's the name of it again? Um, let's go to the Lunch Loops Trailhead. The Lunch Loops, and it'll be on Monument Road. And so I know I can drive. You said you can drive, and you can drive. So yeah, we'll meet at the Lunch Loops Trailhead, and, and we'll, You'll see us all there, and, and we'll have time. Let's meet there at 9 in the morning. So then we're going to go up to a job. It should be fun. I have no idea if my guys, how far they got today. I saw that I got a text. I did not look at it, but um, we'll see how they got. And if everything's good, we're going to probably vacuum some sand up, um, scrape a patio, and roll epoxy, and broadcast. And it's a little over 1,200 square feet, and there's, yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, um, quartz um, overlay. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've done it. You, it's broadcast rejection. Yeah. He can probably teach the class, so yeah. 
You'll see these two new guys. That, this is their first quartz broadcast job that I'm trying to teach them on, and they're doing really. The one guy's such a good old concrete guy, and he works so hard, and he just cares about detail that I think he's doing pretty good. And the concrete was freaking wrecked, so we had a or a walk behind. We took I'm guessing like 400, 500 pounds of concrete off of it. So just a brand new concrete. Just it was. Yeah, I mean I, there was a spot where it it dipped like three inches in a four, four foot section. Yeah, I was like, well, we're gonna be cutting this at diagonals for a long time. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining the live. You guys like broke a damn new record. So we were getting like 100, I don't know, what is it 100, 200,000? We were getting huge lives before TikTok pulled my live. And I got sad and depressed. But the good ones of you guys came back. I, didn't, I don't get sad and depressed over things like that. That's God's will, whatever happens. But um, we're getting awesome help getting our channel back on. But you guys have no idea on this little live channel how huge it is when you guys share us, follow us, hit the subscribe button, follow button notification. The interaction and things like that are a big deal. So thank you guys for joining us. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're going to try to shoot live tomorrow on a broadcast job. I just realized that we're doing everything we can. The photographer, the badass, Michael himself, the Michael is going to be um, up there himself. So if we can't go live, it's because of the poor reception between the camera and the inside. Kind of, it's a unique, I think, where the wireless router of the customers is. So we're going to try to change that. But because the husband literally works for NASA from home, we probably can't move his router. So because he's always working, so I bet you we're going to have to give him priority. But I think we might be able to figure it out and get it. And I'll, I'll bring some other devices. Maybe we run a wireless whatever setup. God bless you guys. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll tell you, some of my stuff flowed more than I meant for it. So here's a perfect example of a mistake of mine is because of all that alcohol, I should have let it evaporate completely before I put my white veins. But me being impatient, you can see everywhere that it's pulled a lot. That's where puddles of alcohol were that I put a white vein through and you see it pulled. But if I'd have let that just the alcohol dry off the surface, waited 10 minutes, those would all be really sharp, crisp lines on there. So.